What's up to the Taylor Group podcast for me? We're here with Brooklyn Frost. Say what's up, say what's up. Hey, y'all. So how you doing, how you doing, how you doing? I'm doing good. You know what I'm saying? Um, Right now, you're currently saying at 1.1 million followers on Instagram. Currently at 970K subscribers on YouTube. Close to a mil, so congrats on that. Whatever you hit that. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? So, um, icebreaker here for me. Um, In 2023, your name has been twisted and tied with everything in 2023. What's, what you looking forward to in 2024? Um, really looking forward for blessings and mm. prosperity and mm. just doing bigger things, doing different things from 2023 as mm. well. What you have set, like, set in mind for 2024? Um, just pushing more music out, tapping into different opportunities mm -hmm. and just living life, traveling a lot. So for the people that don't know, um, uh, you know, if people are watching this off, like, what do you do? What are you into? Um, I'm a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. I also do music. Mm -hmm. um, I want to do acting, mm. but, you know, that's in the works. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, you talked about acting. Mm -hmm. um, I seen something that you were uh, doing Vines with your older brother. <laughs> yeah, so you were doing Vines with older brother. How did that come about? Um, well, he started it, and he would just ask me to be in his, like, Vine videos, mm -hmm. and I'll do it. So, like, you... When you say you want to like participate in acting, you want to participate in shows, movies, like what type yeah. of character you want to have, like in acting? Mm, I've really always wanted to be like a um, school girl, like the popular girl. In the school, like everybody like, like mean. likes her and stuff? Or, huh? Like everybody likes her or? Like mean girls. Like the bully? Kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the popular girl, like everybody want to be like her and mm. stuff. Like I want to play one of those. Movies. Um. So you started YouTube a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe you went viral off the hot blazing wings. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, um. So, how did you? How was school like when she started popping off? Mm, um, it was crazy. Like my school mm. said, I was a distraction. distraction. Like people would come to my classroom and like take pictures of me, mm. or like during lunchtime, like they'll gather around me, mm -hmm. and like sometimes they would think like it's a fight. Because so but, much people around you and yeah. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and, and then also it was weird. Like, people, like, were, would write me and be like, oh, I know where you live. Because I used to walk home. With friends and stuff? Or just they follow you? Like, no, no, no. With friends. But, like, my school, I mean, my house was, like, literally mm -hmm. right there. And my school was, like, right there. So mm -hmm. I would walk home and walk to school and walk from. And Wait, so how long were you in school for? You never was homeschooling or nothing? I was. Oh, you were. So when you were homeschooled, how did, how did your parents actually feel about it? Like? All the attention, like all the attention from school, make you being homeschool. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't think my mom really cared. I don't know. We we kind of, I don't know. I never really had that conversation with her. We just moved. Mm -hmm. Like when stuff started to get crazy, because like I said, my school was right there next to my house, so people knew our address mm -hmm. and stuff. So we just moved, and then I became homeschooled. I only did one year of high school. Damn. The rest homeschool. So then after that, YouTube came in the picture, like after like for my own channel. Yeah. Yeah. So how did that come about? You went like when you decided to make your own like content for your own channel. How did that come about? Um, the the my supporters were just asking for me to make my own channel because it was always me and my brother on his channel. Mm -hmm. So they was like, Brooklyn, make your own channel, make your own channel, make your own channel. So I was like, I made my own channel. What was know? like your first content? Like was it makeup or? It like, was a it was a Q and A. Q and A. Yeah. <laughs> a lot, you know what I, I I really a lot of people do Q and A's for their first video. Like, do you feel like that's good now? Cause like, cause no. like a lot of you. Cause like it's like when people start off a channel, how would you do a Q and A without having a base who wants to know about you? Like how you, like how would you start off a channel? Like for anybody, how would you start off a channel? Um, I would Honestly. just say start doing what you love first. Mm -hmm. Like if that's makeup, if that's fashion, if that's Anything like gaming, anything like do what you love first, and then the people will gravitate to you, to you, mm -hmm. and they also will say what they want. So like dap into any everything that you like. But with me, my situation, I had like the the um support. So from, from uh, the shade side of the yeah, channel, okay. yeah. So they wanted to know. That's why I did it. But I don't, I don't recommend that to do it because like to there is more. Like, the Q and A's. Yeah, yeah, because it's like nobody it's just want to want to know about you. When Not you're... even that, but it's like 
is boring. <laughs> but I feel like now it's like you can get to know somebody just watching the video yeah. and getting their personality and stuff like sometimes that. Sometimes though. What you what you mean? Like sometimes like me, like I'm kinda different off camera mm -hmm. and when I come on camera it's like a switch. Like I know what the when do you feel like that's on. good though? Like that you have a switch when to turn it on and turn it off? Like do you feel like that's good or? Yeah, sometimes. Mm. When did you realize you was uh, like a part of the algorithm on YouTube? Like when did you start to realize like you was picking up the pace and having? Mm, when I had to do everything on my own, like what you mean? That's like edit, mm -hmm. record by myself, mm -hmm. post the video. Cause before it was my mom, mm -hmm. I would just record the video and give her the. The, and make her edit too? Yeah, edit and She was edited? Oh. Yeah, she was. She shout out to mom, shout out to mom. Yeah, shout out to mom. Um, so when you was uh first making videos and you realized the algorithm, what was like what was like a um like a barrier you had to go through on your own? Because you say you was working on your own. So when mm -hmm. did you realize like I right, I need a team now, it's getting overwhelming and like you need a team. When did you realize? Um when I became busy, like too busy, like mm -hmm. Cause I start like I said I do music I was starting to do music so I had to um do music things and then YouTube things mm -hmm. and I couldn't do it all at once because if I'm in the studio I can't be editing and in posting do all at the same time yeah you talk about music so what did that come about were you always like I always loved music like you were singing young back then yeah I was, young? I was I was singing young like kid like <laughs> my mom has videos of you singing yeah. Like singing happy birthday to my brother. So I see you going on tour. How you mm -hmm. feel about that? What's the what's the process, whole process behind that? I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be sick. You got you gotta be singing in front of tons of people I in know. the crowd. I'm really nervous. How you how you think you're like prepare for that? Um a shot or two. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Nah, nah. No, for real, a shot or two. But I don't know, like I guess rehearsals and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So mm. like when you um when you're making music, uh, how do you like? What's your process? Because some people need to be either high or you know drinking. What's your process like? Oh, I'm sober. Oh, sober. Yeah, but I like nighttime, like a vibe. Because I give a vibe. Yep, mm. and I like all the lights off. And you write? I write some of my music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and most of it's obviously from the heart, like however you mm -hmm. feel and stuff like that. So um, most of your songs that I've known of is mostly singing. Do you ever think about switching it up, like? You never heard none of my rap songs? No, I heard I heard your rap song, I believe. It, I forgot what it was called, but I heard your rap song. You Love like, Me? No, 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 not that. No, I mean, obviously that song, but mm -hmm. it was a song before that. It was the remix, the lottery remix. Oh, yeah, yeah, That yeah, was yeah. a rap song. I mean, like, ever switched it to, like, like um, drill, like, hardcore drill, like, what's going on right now? Mm, I, I would. I would. You would? <laughs> I would see what I could do. All right. Ooh. But, yeah, that's... that's. Um. So, I had some lyrics from your song, You Love Me. Mm -hmm. So, I had... You got a back to spend, fuck being broke, crying the rolls, <laughs> or crying the coop. I don't date simple, or I don't date, or I date for the ring. Right. So do you, so like, when you, so what's your thought, like, thought process behind, like, do you date planning for marriage, like? Yes, I real? do. That's why, yeah, of course, like, I'm mm -hmm. dating to marry. I'm not dating to. At a young age, or like, it doesn't matter, like, do you feel like. At my age now, like, real? because it's like, I don't want to have to keep giving myself to somebody and then like keep getting disappointed you know like mm -hmm. and i'm looking for unconditional love mm -hmm. and i feel like nowadays it's not unconditional like people just throw that love word out yeah, there yeah a lot of people do throw the yeah. love word and don't know how it feels cuz they never reach that point to feel love so exactly. when it comes to like relationships and stuff like that like what are your deal breakers cheating um yeah. lying mm -hmm. why you say damn like that you a cheater you know, I, I, like, <laughs> if I had to get back at somebody and I had to get back, like you begin to get back, I got my get I back to, one you, time. You gotta get back. I feel like it's best to get back, like one one time. No, one time, one time for sure. Then then you yeah. leave because there's no point staying the person you got back at. But well, no, I don't say then you leave. Like at the end of the day, y'all both did y'all dirt, and if y'all unconditionally love each other, mm -hmm. you can get past anything. But sometimes it is good to step away real quick to mm -hmm. see if you guys are meant and. If you guys are meant, it will always come back. So, yeah. So, is cheating, lying, what else? That's all you just Cheating, lying, if your hygiene is bad, like. Mm. Why? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So, um, when it comes to, like, men, because, like, it's like a trending topic. What, like, what are your icks in males? Like, what is, what, what do males do that piss you off? Um, It's a lot of crazy corny ones I've seen. Like, some men can't even breathe properly. It's an ick. 
Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's crazy. So what's your ex? I don't have... My ex are weird. Like what? Like, you... Like, okay, say we have some, like... um, Say we're on a date. And Ooh. he asked me for some of my stuff. That's an ick. How? I don't know. You like, can't share food? I don't know if you're like, can I have some? Like, ew. No, nah, I, I wouldn't act like that. <laughs> I would just like, I would just dive in and play like, and that's it. Like, That would be an ick too. How? Because why are you diving in my plate? And then like, it's. If we, sh- if, I don't know, but if we sharing the bill, I feel like we should share the food. Like, sharing a bill? All right. That's an ick. How is that an ick? Why are we sharing the bill if we're on a date? Okay, look. The man should pay. Now, now it's different if he told me, like, hey, like, you know, I don't really got it. Take you, it. oh. I don't really got I, I don't know, like, it some, like that. Some, some niggas are not doing that. Like, their pride is too high. Like, I don't think a man will ever come to, like, save him. Well, like, then I'm going to just be staring at him at the table. Like, that never happened to you before where you had to, like, pay a bill and you thought, no. oh, damn, she, you know, like, that happened to me before. Like, I. I what? Like, like, I had to look at her, like, I ain't going to lie. Like, I left my, like, Car home, like, can you pay? I'll pee back when I get to the crib, though. Oh, yeah, like, see, that's an ick, too. How's that an ick? If I don't got it right now, then I don't got it right now. Like, I could no, pay later. No, the ick is, can you pay for it? I'll cash app you. I'll cash it. I'll cash app you back. I don't like that. How? Oh. So, I can't, so, I can't dive in and play to get a little food and share food on the same, no. Mm-mm. I'd rather you ask, but it's still going to ick me out. What else? What, what's the other ick? Um... I just talked about this too. Like, if he gets out the car and like his butt crack shows, that's an ick. <laughs> and then, oh my gosh, when niggas be sagging and like their drawers. That, that's a normal thing though. I no, no, no. When their drawers are like, when their butt is eating up their drawers. <laughs> like it's tight or something? <laughs> like it's a wedgie. Like you see the wedgie, like, ew. That's a normal thing though. Like, I feel like a lot of people do that because like nobody wants. Uptight clothes on and tight yeah. jeans, but that's normal. But I'm saying if the jaws is if the your ass is eating your jaws, mm. so let's say, say you go on a date. What's your like ideal type of date? Um, my ideal type of date. I don't know. I'm not like really a girl who will have like you will have to spend money. Like I like even if we went to like a picnic. Mm-hmm. Not me and you, mm-hmm. but what? me. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Me and my date. Mm-hmm. Like, if we went to a picnic and watched the planes land and take off, like, like uh-huh. and eat, like, shit like that. What like, about, like, the movie? You think movies is the first good first Yeah, I like the movies. Okay, okay. I like the movies. Um, God. I had a question. I forgot. Just don't try nothing. Like, just watch the movie. What, what you mean? Like, just don't try nothing. Like, don't be trying to. Like, like a little rub thigh and yeah, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, don't touch me. What? Especially if it's our first date. You feel like. That's like a red flag or something. If you're trying to be too touchy, touchy no, not too touchy, but like obviously get comfortable and see how that goes. Yes, well, that, for me, because I'm not that type of girl. Like I'm not that. Just don't touch me, because then I'll get like ached out mm-hmm. and probably like never going to date with you again. Now, if we're in the movies and we're like cuddling like that, mm-hmm. that's cool. But don't rub on my thigh like that. That that's a sign of you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's a sign of. Yeah. Before anything happens. Mm-hmm. I bet. Mean, so look right here. I have a jar of questions in here. So okay. Man. So you could take five. I believe you could take five out. Take five out. Take five questions. I got the handwriting probably a little crazy. So like, don't even. If you can't read. Don't go too crazy. <laughs> don't go too crazy. I right, bet. You could pick the first one. Okay. Let me see. And whichever you don't feel comfortable with, you know, you don't gotta exit. Oh man. What's that? Let me see. Turn it around. What's the first Never one? Never have I ever ate ass. Never have I. Like, would you eat like a nigga ass? No. Say? No? Never. You wouldn't, Ew. Please, you wouldn't please your man? You, you like that? No, no, no. Not me. I'm just saying, like, you wouldn't please your if, man? If my man, like, asked me to, I would probably look at him like, what? So you wouldn't please him? <sighs> you want to get married, you might as well please him that way. No. I don't do that, so... I can't. Like, that's so nasty. You gotta be fresh out the shower. Oh, so you would? No. She would, y'all. <laughs> y'all, no. y'all know that. She would. Okay, um... Next question. Worst kiss? I gotta say the name. Mm-hmm. Worst kiss? All my kisses was good. Oh? Mm-hmm. What type of kiss were you, like, you, like, tongue deep in? No. Or, no. Just... Pet kiss? Yeah. What? I only kiss, like... How many people have I kissed? Pet kissing? Wait, hold on. Let me really think about this. Hold on.
It's a lot yeah, of only fake. five people. Five people? Yeah, it was good. Just pecs. Yeah. If I was not in my relationship, yeah, we was we was doing Tongue. it. Um Let me see. <laughs> oh, how you keep your circle? I like small. Small? Very small. How do you manage it? That's like a better way of asking. How do you manage your circle? Like, do you have to um, cut people out your circle? Or like, like yeah, but how do you just keep it? No, I keep my same circle. I don't really, I'm not really into making new friends. Mm-hmm. So you just, haven't, wait, why not? Like Because of like, um, the experiences I've had, like, I would try to make new friends and then just. It just won't go go? Yeah. So like. Not everybody. I don't call everybody my friend. If I call you my friend, like you're really my friend, and mm-hmm. it's more like family. So all the friends you had before, all like the stature and everything, still friends still now, basically. Yep. Oh, that's, that's actually rare. Okay. Yeah. Because like, yeah. a lot of people do lose friends, like going stature, because you know they probably call you fake or they probably call you weird. And... Yeah. See, now me like my friends. I only have two friends before all this happened, mm-hmm. and we like. She's like. um... She helped me with my relationship with God mm. and stuff. And oh, she's God. always been supportive. She's never called me fake. She's in college now, actually. Mm-hmm. And she understands that like, we both have lives. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, so. Yeah, I've always loved that about her. What's the next question? Let's see. Um, five facts about myself. Five facts about myself. Um, I can be mean. For I can real? be really, really mean. I ain't gonna lie. Like, when I first seen you, like, I don't get the mean aspect. But, like, I, I feel like... Really. I feel I feel like show people do have short... Like, you, you get tantrums sometimes, like tantrums sometimes. Yes. I, I do, that. I do, I do. It's okay, though. I'm human. Yeah. You don't want to be a man. Um, another fact is... um. It's another fact. It's not too personal. Mm. Um, My thumb is dumb, double-jointed. Like, what you mean? Like, you... Like... like like you could, oh wait, what does that mean? Like you could crack it, like I don't know, like <laughs> you just cracking it. You gotta feel it; it's popping. Mm-hmm. But um, <laughs> nobody, nobody ever knew that for real. Yes, no, y'all the first ones. But um, another one was that. What that was that too? That was another two. one. Um, I don't like my nose. I feel like my nose is big. See, not see now that you said it, I'm looking at your nose. Why don't you like your nose now? Is my nose big once you look at it's it? It's not. It's not. I mean, it's getting bigger the more I look at it. It's, ah! not, it's, it's not big, but like, why don't you like your nose? <laughs> oh my god! Why don't you like your nose? Because it's big. It's not big. It's like you just said nose. that it's, not, it's okay, getting like, bigger. Like the... my, my eyes are gonna make it look like, but it's not big. <laughs> why don't you like your nose? Because oh I want to get it done. Um, that's a um another fact. Um. I sing in the shower. I don't know. I that's, that's regular. Yeah. That's another fact. Regular. I wear a size five and a half, six. Mm-hmm. Those are five, I think. Um. Yeah. Never have I ever PDA dirty. So basically doing PDA outside. What's that? Like kissing outside or do anything nasty outside. Yeah. Ooh. They know this, though. You want to get into it? Mom, cover your ears. Oh man. <laughs> um, I yeah, just I kissed outside. That's it. Mm-hmm. Kiss outside where? Outside in public. <laughs> <laughs> Target, corner store. Target. Target. Mm-hmm. That's not crazy, PDA. Then that's just regular. Mm-hmm. Oh man, she's trying to keep it PG thirteen, y'all. I am. I am. All right, so with uh, with all this, um. You know, everything going on for yourself. You know saying? Congratulations. Yeah, you can put it back. With all this going for yourself, congratulations. What's your favorite Thank memory? Thank you. Favorite memory? Mm-hmm. Memory. Um, I guess my favorite memory is when me and my family drove to California. And I, it was, was me, it? my brother. Mm-hmm. My well, drove from brother. where? Drove from Seattle. I'm from Seattle. So is that, a, I don't really know. Is that a far drive or no? It's a far drive. It's, a, it's like an 18 hour drive. God damn. Yeah. So how was that drive? It was crazy, but passing through the states, like we had fun. Like it was more than just like driving. Like we kind of made it. Like it was a road trip. Really. It was like, like bonding time, basically. Yeah, like mm-hmm. we put the seats up, laid on the ground, mm-hmm. 
like, because the way our car was, like, you could fold the seats up and put them on the side. And it was just, like, the whole back seat was, like, mm-hmm. a trunk, basically. So, yeah, like, I don't know. That was probably my best memory. What's the what's the most expensive thing you bought recently? Um, damn. Most expensive thing? Probably my brother's gift. What's the gift? It was a diamond ring. Diamond ring. Yeah. It's hard, though. Like it's, like Have you seen his frost I've chain? seen his frost. I've seen his frost. It I'm matches not, I've that. I've seen his frost chain. So, um, another thing I wanted to ask, because, like, damn, I don't want to sound like a glazing, but, like, when... When, when somebody has stature, you know, some, like, most people think that, like, they don't go do things because they have money or they have, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, not, like, things to worry about. So what can you say to people that, like, don't know how it feels that you still can go through hard things at times, like, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. emotions and mental health and stuff like that? Right. I feel like um everybody's human, people mm-hmm. with money. Like, we all, we all go through the same things. You know, I get sad sometimes. I get depressed. Mm-hmm. But, um... Yeah, I feel like we're all human. Like, we're not always going to, like, money can help things sometimes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes. But like, it's temporary. Like I said, would you rather choose to be happy or to be um broke or something like that? Or to be happy or to be something like that. Mm-hmm. And somebody said they'd rather be, um oh, no. Would you rather be happy, happy and, broke? and broke or rich, rich and sad? And, sad? Mm-hmm. and they said, um, happy and broke because money can't buy happiness. But it can sometimes. Do you think money can buy happiness? To be honest, it can. I ain't gonna lie, it definitely can. Like, you wake up knowing that you got four cars. Like, you get to pick between what car you want to drive. I feel like sometimes it can, but over... Like a long time, it's it's gonna start fading away because you have so much. What else can mm-hmm. you buy? So it's mm-hmm. like you can't now. You can't buy mental like proper mental health and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Exactly. So it just depends like what comes first. But I, I feel like it does in some way. It does in some way, but I always keep God first. So mm-hmm. you know, even if I was broke, I would have God. Mm-hmm. So how do you keep your mental health? Like, what do you do? You make you make music, or do you like you vet probably to your mom or friends or something? I pray. You pray. Yes, I do. If I'm going through it and I know, like, it's nobody out here that can help me, I know God can help me. Mm-hmm. So I just pray to him. And he, literally after a prayer, do you pray? I do pray. Yeah, after after prayer, like, it just kind of feels, feels like. It feels like a cleanse. Yeah, yeah. like mm-hmm. a, a weighted, mm-hmm. a weight lift off of your shoulders. So you in New York, mm-hmm. you know, so I just had to ask, what do you love, what do you love about New York compared to, like, Atlanta or L.A.? Mm, I love how New York is like it's hella support out here. For real? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, y'all be feeling support? Nah, I don't be feeling support out you here. You don't feel support? No, no, New York has is is more like trendy. That's what I would say. But support, I don't feel like New York really supporting when it comes to like I don't know, like when it comes to like somebody else doing something else somebody else is doing, if they're not supporting for real. Mm. I feel like Atlanta it's way more supportive than New York. That's what I feel like. Atlanta is supportive as well. Atlanta do show love. I feel like Atlanta's way more supportive. But New York is always going to be, like, trending. Like, New yeah. York would never die out. But, yeah, I love how... And then everybody, like, just minds their business mm-hmm. on the street. Like, I be seeing people just walk, walking. <sighs> Damn. Well, I don't have nothing else to ask. Okay. Like, I, like, I, like I'm, I'm, I'm lost in the head, feel me? So, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video... I mean, shout out to, you know what I'm saying, Brooklyn Falls uh, coming to the show. Everything shout be out down to you. Hey, thank you. Everything be down in the description. All links below. See y'all niggas on the next episode. Peace. Bye.